You're watching BBC News. We have just received a statement from Buckingham Palace confirming that the Duke of Edinburgh has died. The statement says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. We have just received this information from Buckingham Palace. Let me repeat this news. It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. In recent years, uh, we know that the Duke was rarely seen in public. His last scheduled appearance was at Windsor Castle in July 2020, after which time he pretty much retired from public life. That had been his first official engagement in more than a year. And it came as Prince Philip handed over patronage of the rifles to Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. He had held the title of Colonel-in-Chief since 2007. But his connection to the infantry regiment stretched back to 1954. Four of its officers came to Windsor Castle to mark the occasion and to thank him for decades of service. We know, of course, that the Duke had uh, struggled with various health problems in recent times and had been in hospital for several weeks only a short time ago, and Prince Charles on one occasion had visited him. He was in a private hospital to begin with and then received treatment in an NHS hospital before he returned home. But sadly, we now learn to, for the infection of his to be, death uh, via that statement from Buckingham so, Palace. Uh, um, just I suggest received a lockdown, in the last you know, few minutes. And also the speed statement up the says vaccination it is process. with deep sorrow that Her Majesty okay, the Queen Dr. Gustavo has announced Johansson the death of her beloved husband, Palo, thank you very much His indeed, Royal Highness, for joining the Prince us. Philip, Duke of we Edinburgh. His Royal uh, Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. be joining our Windsor colleagues Castle. in the new channel on, uh, on BBC News in the next few minutes for an well, important the, uh, announcement retired that we have been duties, uh, as we know, getting in, in uh, August to uh, BBC News. And uh, let he us go now to my colleagues in Buckingham BBC Palace News. Palace with the Royal Marines. He had been their Captain General for nearly 65 years. Prince Philip's own military career in the Royal Navy saw active service during the Second World War. But that uh, ended after his uh, wife's coronation in 1953. He dedicated himself to supporting the Queen in her work. The parade was the last of the Duke's 22,000 solo public engagements. A great support all those years to Her Majesty the Queen. Away from the military, he was president or patron of more than 750 organisations, many it's of them involved with the protection the of the environment off, and Rosalind the encouragement of sport. He was months, by far the longest serving consort to a monarch risk in British history. Let's just remind you of that statement our, released in the last few minutes from Buckingham so Palace. It says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, we'll His Royal we'll Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, His Royal right? Highness passed away Ooh. peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Yeah, We are interrupting our normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. You're watching BBC News from London. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The Royal Family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of the Duke of Edinburgh.
You're watching BBC News. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme. Now, Prince Philip was the longest serving royal consort in British history. He was at the Queen's side for more than 70 years. He held a central role in British public life, loyally representing the Queen at home and abroad and supporting the monarch in all of her duties. The Duke had served in the Royal Navy before embracing royal duties full time when his wife became Queen in 1952. He was Her Majesty's closest advisor, responsible for modernising aspects of royal life, making the family more accessible and less formal in its ways. Philip led a remarkably active life, supporting hundreds of charities, campaigning for nature conservation, promoting leadership and encouraging young people to test their abilities in the Duke of Edinburgh Awards Scheme. During his long life, he maintained a close bond with the armed services, especially the Royal Navy, and encouraged his children and grandchildren to serve as he had done. Philip was known for his outspoken style and sometimes his controversial wit and could be relied upon to speak his mind, even on difficult issues. With Philip's death, the royal household has lost a dominant figure. Her Majesty has lost a husband and British public life has lost a powerful presence, a man whose momentous life spanned a century. Let's just remind you of the uh, statement that has been issued in the last few minutes from Buckingham Palace. It says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, joins us now on the line. Nicholas, a long life now ended, devoted to service to the Queen and the country. Yes, a life of service alongside his wife, as you say. Uh, two months and one day short of what would have been his 100th birthday, a milestone that he was so determined to reach and for which the royal family would have gathered in celebration at Windsor Castle. Not a surprise, given his age, given the fact that uh, just over a month ago, of course, he was in hospital for, for a month, uh, uh, he underwent some uh, heart surgical procedure, uh, but he left hospital looking frail, but returning to Windsor Castle to spend these last weeks with his wife, the Queen. And this is a huge blow for her, as indeed it is for any spouse, leaving, losing uh, a, a partner uh, with whom they have been for more than 70 years, 73 years, a greater span of years than most of us have been uh, alive. So a huge blow for the Queen. And it is fair to say, I think, that in so many ways, the success and the stability of her reign owes a great deal to the success and the stability of their marriage. He was the person to whom she could always turn, the private support which was so invaluable in the isolated position, the lonely position as head of state. It's a huge loss for the royal family. For so long, he was the dominant figure in the family's domestic life, an important source of advice and support for those who married into the royal family, as he did, uh, for William and Harry in their military careers, and for all that he was noted and will be remembered for his abrasiveness. There was also a much more sensitive side to his personality, and that. Uh, became apparent in the advice that he gave to younger members of the royal family, the advice that he attempted to give to Diana, Princess of Wales, when it was clear that her marriage uh, was, was failing. Uh, and there is a gap in our national life now. For so many 
years, he made a huge and significant contribution, not just to the success of uh, the Queen's reign, but in his own right. He had to find a niche for himself in the nation's life, and he did that. So a little colour has left the national stage today. He was much more than the rather gaff-prone, put-in-the-mouth caricature, as he was so often presented. A man who made a contribution in his own right, but whose greatest contribution was in the support that he gave to his wife, the Queen. And let's just, uh, before we move on, Nicholas, stay with us if you would. I just would like to read again that statement that's been issued in the last few minutes from Buckingham Palace. It says, 